Hello guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome to a short video on my favourite AFK vault skilling methods in our old school RuneScape. I'll be showing five skilling methods I like to do whilst doing other things, so that could be uh, studying, editing videos or thumbnails, watching TV shows or movies, or even doing housework as well. So yes, you can be productive both in-game and in the real world at the same time. Uh, something I use to help with this is RuneLight's Idle Alerter, which will give me a sound and notification on my computer if my character goes idle and stops doing whatever I'm doing, so usually going to be skilling. And yeah, this will help with many methods depending on exactly uh, what you're doing on the side, and yeah, you can always uh, make sure you're always fishing. First method is Karam 1 fishing on Karamja, which requires level 65 fishing and the Taibu 1 8 trio quest. Uh, a lot of fishing is AFK, of course, but this is quite a niche method in the skill since the Karam 1 spot will never move and you can AFK into the fin inventory every single time. At first, you will need to fish some Karam 1G with a small net in southern Karamja, which will be the bait, but this doesn't take very long at all. Uh, then make your way to the Karam 1 fishing spot, which you'll remember from the Taibu 1 8 quest. Uh, a Karam 1 vessel is used to catch the fish here. It can be accessed easily using the ferry ring code DKP. Uh, click the spot once and you're good to go for a few minutes depending on your level. And then to bank, there's a cool way to speed this up if you do have the Karamja Gloves 3 and Quest Cape. Just teleport to the gem mine with the gloves, deposit your fish in the chest and then Quest Cape teleport back to the Legends Guild. And then use the ferry ring to get straight back to the spots or otherwise just bank in whatever way is best and convenient for you. And then use the closest ferry ring teleport you have to get back. You'll catch around 700 per hour at level 90, gaining 35k XP and making about 230k GP per hour too, depending on current prices. Uh, Karen 1 is also one of the fastest ways to get the fishing pet, taking on average 225 hours and of course being very AFKable, so there's a lot of reasons to do them. Next up is another fishing method, it's going to be Infernal Eels in Moor or Wreck, which require level 80 fishing as well as a fire cape to enter the city. Uh, you'll need an oily fishing rod obtained from the Hero's Quest or by using blemish oil on a normal fishing rod, uh, as well as having ice gloves equipped and regular fishing bait. Uh, the best spots are in the southeast of the city and there are two to three very close to each other. The main thing about this method, which is good, is that you never need to bank, so you'll catch infernal eels which are then dismantled into tockle, lava scale shards and onyx bolt tips. And there's a good drop rate of clue bottles here too, ranging from 1 in 9.17 to 1 in 8.29 depending on uh, level. You'll catch around 300 eels per hour at level 95, gaining 32,000 experience and making about 220k GP per hour depending on current prices. And that's assuming you would cash in the tockle for uncut onyxes from the gem shop in the city. Now we move over to the mining skill with Amethyst in the mining guild. I knocked at level 92 mining. Uh, this is a method where the ores or crystals per hour, I should say in this case, don't seem very high, uh, but the money is still decent for how AFK it can be. Uh, you'll mine these crystals in the corner of the guild and it can take a while to mine them. But if you do have the expert mining gloves, the Amethyst has a 25% chance not to deplete when you mine it, meaning that it becomes even more AFK and pretty much just a slower version of the motherlode mine. Uh, there's a bank just around the corner or you can just bring a chisel to craft the crystals into arrow tips and never have to bank at all. You can mine roughly 100 per hour at uh, level 99, netting you 300k GP from the Amethyst if you sell it, and the XP is about 25k an hour as well, so not too bad for the minimum effort required. Uh, this is also a great way for Iron Men to get high quality ammo in Amethyst arrows, and yeah, Amethyst is a low base chance for the mining pet at about 1 in 44,000, and that's where I got my rock golem. Next up is a skill most of us dislike or have disliked a lot in the past. It's not so bad anymore though with Zaya rune crafting and specifically blood runes. Uh, this is one of my favourite AFK activities at the moment and nets decent XP and profit for rune crafting. It requires level 77 in the skill as well as 100% Arceus favour and level 38 mining and crafting. It's a very very simple method. You just mine dense essence blocks, use them on the dark altar where you, where you normally change spell before train prayer and then chisel those into fragments. You'll then do this for a second time keeping the essence in your inventory whilst you run to the blood altar. So you runecraft the first bunch, then chisel the second lot of essence into fragments and craft those and just rinse and repeat for, well, all the way to 99 if you want. You make some uh, good money that way. Uh, you can AFK for multiple minutes at a time whilst mining essence and even while you run to the altar as well. And with a ring of endurance, you'll never run out of energy here, which uh, is amazing. XP rates are only 35k an hour, but for the effort required, this is uh, very decent for the rune crafting skill. Uh, you'll also get some mining and crafting XP passively here, and the profit is very generous at the moment with the blood runes being in demand and expensive, so you'll make about a 650k per hour. Finally, this is the most simple method to finish this video, and it's just smithing cannonballs, which requires level 35 smithing and the dwarf cannon quest. So you need an ammo mold and a full inventory of steel bars, and then use these any furnace in the game, Priftonas, Edgeville, or anywhere that's uh, close to a bank, and yeah, AFK for many minutes at a time uh, before an inventory is finished. 
XP rates and profit are mediocre, being about 14k XP per hour and 111k GP per hour. But uh, this isn't bad for the amount of AFK time you attend. It may be perfect for whatever you're doing in the background, or if you're an Iron Man, you just need to build up some supplies for doing a future Slayer or even one of those Dragon Wall Hammer grinds. That's five of my favourite AFK skilling methods in old school RuneScape and uh, let me know what your ones are too so I'll be doing a similar video to this set in the future but on monsters I like to AFK in the game. Thank you very much for watching, hope you found it uh, useful and I'll catch you in the next video.